Denmark is a pretty forgotten country in terms of motorsports. It's a country that's only been the home of five F1 drivers that participated in a combined 14 seasons. Half of these coming from Kevin Magnussen, who much like his father Jan, turned to American racing after their European careers came to an end. I bring this up because a driver we'll be discussing today had a vaguely similar career path to those two. Today, we talk about Ronnie Bremer. Welcome back to All IndyCar, the motorsports history show looking at the most interesting stories in American open wheel racing. Ronnie Bremer was born in Copenhagen on October 14th, 1978. By the age of 12, he began his karting career in Denmark. He had already won a Danish Formula Junior Karting Championship in his first year in karts and would continue to find success in the upcoming years. Over the course of his karting career, he won the Danish Formula A Championship in 1998, 1999, and 2001. By 2001, Bremer was set to make his car racing debut. He would race in various Formula Ford series during this season, along with time in the Danish Touring Car Championship. Although he didn't find success in touring cars, he did do well in Formula Fords. His most impressive performance came in the Slick 50 British Formula Ford season, where in his full-time year with Hayward Racing, Bremer got one win and finished an impressive ninth in the standings. This field had some pretty interesting characters too, including his teammate, future F1 medical car driver, Alan van der Merwe. 2002 would see Ronnie Bremer race in various Formula 3 series, but this season didn't lead to too much success. This would be a bit of a trend for his career, as although he had the talent to win championships in cars, he rarely, if ever, ran full-time in the series. He had only ran a few races in Formula Ford and did well in those starts, but instead of staying in Formula Fords to win or contend for a championship, he just moved on to Formula 3. In 2003, he raced full-time in the British F3 series and would again do solid despite now winning in the series. He finished 6th in the championship this year behind drivers like Richard Antonucci, Nelson Piquet Jr., and Alan van der Merwe. After this season had passed, he lost his ride at Carlin in British F3, and his F1 aspirations were shattered. Ronnie Bremer was in desperate need of a career refresh, and he would find this in the United States. For 2004, Ronnie Bremer was going to make his American racing debut in the Toyota Atlantic series. Driving for Brooks Associates Racing, the first five races of the season would go pretty well for him. He had three top fives, including a runner-up finish as first oval star in Milwaukee. Midway through the season, Bremer left Brooks and joined Polestar Racing for the rest of 2004. He impressed even more with Polestar, getting podiums in Toronto, Vancouver, and Laguna Seca. He would also get his only win in Atlantic's this season, that coming at Denver. Ronnie Bremer would end up finishing 5th in the points this year in what would end up being his only full-time season in the series. For 2005, Ronnie Bremer would make the leap up to Champ Car, and although he did well in Atlantics the year before, with the background knowledge that he was rushed from carts to Champ Car in only 4 years, you could tell this effort was doomed from the start. Across this year with HVM and Dale Coin Racing, inconsistency and mediocrity were the names of his game. The the caliber of competition wasn't world class at the time in Champ Car history, so although he had a grand total of 7 top 10s this year, he didn't stand out. By the end of the year, Ronnie Bremer would be out of IndyCar for good. He would race in only 8 more races in Atlantic, where his results were disappointing. He's still racing to this day, but at this point his career has regressed to the point of your Aunt Myrna or your appendix, something you only really hear about when something bad happens. If I had to summarize Ronnie Bremer's racing career, the word I would choose above any is rushed. He never had the time to develop as a driver between each series, so as a result, his rap sheet isn't very impressive outside of carts. It was a pitiful cycle of being rushed through the racing ladder for Ronnie Bremer, but that's how the cookie crumbled. Had he been given more time in every racing series he was in, his career would be a lot easier to judge. But that's not what happened, so we're left to draw our own conclusions about what success he could have found. 